Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm very happy to say good morning to all. Today again, it's very blue sky, the great weather. I am here in Tramros again to share with the word of God to everyone. Especially I come here today to haircut to all our office people. Yesterday when I saw them, they have very long hair, uh, a lot. They say, I cannot see the barber shop. So, you know, I'm the barber. So I bring the old haircut tool. So today, after this preaching, I will show to my people to haircut. Expect the good product come out. <laughs> Some people, they do not trust me. Maybe they cannot put their hair to, my, to me. Uh, but uh, there's no other way. If you like to cut, come here. I will cut for you. Today the word is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, 1 to 9. This is the very famous uh, word. In Israel they call Shema. Shema. S-H-E-M-A. Shema. Shema meaning hear, listen, hear. So, uh, hear Israel. It's a Shema. This word, the chapter uh, 6, especially 4 to 9, is the five the verses. When the Israel, the boy is come, when they start the work, the parents the teach them the first sentence of the, their language is this Shema. Hear Israel. So, this word is the very famous and very important for those the uh, Jewish uh, people, especially young people. You know uh, how many the Jewish today in the world? There are about, uh, uh, according to the Wikipedia, uh, 16 million, 16.5 million, and all over the world. Uh, before Second uh, World War, uh, First World was uh, before the uh, World War. I, uh, they say the Jewish population was about 60 million. But the, during the World War, you know, the uh, German, Nazi, they killed a lot of the Jews all over the country, all over the world. They lost uh, almost half of their uh, people. But now, after so many years passing, today, the population is about 16.5 million. Among the 16.5 million who stay, live inside the Israel is uh, about uh, uh, 6.5 million. It's not much. But next is the USA. They say about the same, same number of the uh, Israel, the Jewish people in uh, USA and after that after USA is the is other countries the less than million like the France Canada each maybe half million and Argentina Brazil and England there's about the 20 uh, 200,000 300,000 like this so the today the Jewish people worldwide is the Israel and USA. Somebody estimate even 10 million in USA because the Jewish they count themselves. If mother is Jewish, the children consider is uh, Jewish people. That's why uh, because the education from mother, not exactly from father. The father is busy outside. So mother is 
educating the children, the tradition, everything. So, uh, the GC people like this, about 16.5 million all over the world. But uh, when they have uh, children come out, the first uh, sentence they teaching is the Shema. What we are going to lead today. And so, uh, let me lead today the uh, word, the Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 1 to 9. Among the 1 to 9, is the 4 to 9 is considered Shema. So, uh, verse 1 to 3, I lead. These are the command, decrees, and law, the word of the Lord your God directed me to teach you to observe in land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess because the Israel people is the from from Egypt is Exodus and then they cross the let's see they stay 40 years and then now they enter. Now they before enter to the promised land is the land of uh, we call the Ghana. So before they go in, the God give the word to uh, the Israel people. Maybe I stop the music uh, for a while. So. Verse 2, so that you, your children, and their children after them may fear the Lord your God as long as you live by keeping all his decree and command that I give you so that you may enjoy long life. Hear, O Israel. And be careful to obey so that it may go well with you and that you may increase in greatly in land flowing with milk and honey. Just as the Lord, the God of your father, promised you. Verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our Lord, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your heart. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home. And when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up, tie them as symbol on your hand and bind them on your forehead. Write them on the door frame on your house and on your gate. This is a Shema. You see the traditional, the Jewish, they have a, a the line on the, uh, the arm seven times. There is a wording. And they have a, some small box here. Inside there is a word of God, especially the Shema they put on there. Whenever there is a, some a door entrance gate, there's a word of God and everywhere. Everywhere is the word of God because this is the what the God is command them. So when the people before the before they enter to the promised land, God give instruction them, equip with the word of God. But not only you, your children and your children of children, grandchildren all your in hair. So today the Jewish people still do same thing. 
they follow this one. You know the education. Today the education we send our children to the school. Yeah, that is the common education. So we have a public school, we have a private school. Everybody try to uh, making the children study more hard, and then good student uh, pay the uh, work hard to sending them the better school, the private, the high level school. So uh, when uh, we finish the worry about how to eat, and then all the parents second all the money they are going to spend for education of children. You know today, the what is the education? But the many parents the, uh, consider education done by the teacher in the school. And I pay money you, you teach your, you have to teach my children. If my children are not good, it's your responsible. No, that children is the student, they went to school just to learn the common knowledge. But the, what they learn really a lot is in the house, from the parents. They see the how mother living, talking, how father is doing, how brother, sister, we work, we live, how cooperated, how we respect each other, how I forgive them, how give the way ahead of him. You know, we are learning all these things, especially the family who believe the God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Their life to follow, the, their faithful life in the family. The children is naturally, automatically they learn. Because they, they got the wisdom of God. They know the, what is the love of Jesus Christ. This thing, the school never teach them. Especially those countries who do not believe God, never. That's why the best school, most important school is home. The most important the parents are father and mother. But today, we could see many parents abandon their obligation, their responsibility to teach and then they just excuse, no, learning in the school is not from house. The children who do not learn things in the house, they cannot build their humanity. So the, the obligation, the duty of parents is very important and a lot. We just do not toss our responsibility to the teacher in the school. No. That cannot make in their life so well. So, the Israel, you see the, the family is teaching from, especially when they are uh, Jewish, they have an age of 13, and then uh, they have a debut. And they consider 13 years old above is the already adult. And then they have a, this kind, all this, what they command on the world, and they memorize and they speak morning, afternoon, evening, wherever they go, they confess this one. What I understand, the older Jewish people, before they close their eyes before they die, they repeating the Shema, what we have this today. The Shema, hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. The God is only one. Yes, because that time so many gods around, but the day, the they trust 
that God is only one. That's why we have to really see how we teach, guide our children. The Shema today is uh, <clears throat> especially the verse 4 and 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with full, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. This Verse 4 and 5. Oh Israel. As some people said, Oh, I'm not Israel people. I'm Filipino. Why I have to follow this? Oh, I'm Korean. Why I have to? I'm not Israel. No. Israel is what? The God chose Israel among so many tribes, nations. And then after they were chosen by God, they have to really special to the God, not like the other people. They follow the word of God. They follow how to live in this world. Those things, they are chose. Now today, we are chose. We were chosen by God through the Jesus Christ among so many people. You see, Philippines, how blessing. In Asia, 55 country, only Philippines is Christian country. Almost 90% of people are believe the God. You see the other country, all Asia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, everywhere. Very seldom they people you can meet the Christian. Japan, 0.1% Christian there. They are million of God. Every family has their own God, the statues. The communists hate the Christianity because the communists, the, the number one enemy is Christian because they always always follow the God they do not follow the their the policy ideology so they do not agree the God in communism so we have to recognize Philippines is so blessed if I'm not in Philippines maybe other country maybe I cannot speak like this when I talk about God when I talk about the Bible, everybody basically understand, agree. You know, this kind of environment is really blessing this country and people. We do not know because it's so many. Everybody Christian. So it's, it's, we do not see the value, the precious, the blessing. So <clears throat> Israel. The God is only one. That is the uh, confession, the first. And then you love your God, all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. That meaning by everything, we have to love God. That is the, uh, his, uh, Lord, love the Lord, the order. You know, the, all the Jewish children, when they're young, <clears throat> they learn this one. Love your God. Love your God. Love your God by all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. Those are the children who grow under that environment. Those the children never hear that or very seldom, only on the church, they heard it. After Sunday, Monday to Saturday, they do not hear that. They just hear the many things in the world. The YouTube, everything, the music, so many. And 
what is the difference later on? You know, the Jewish people is not so many population, but the Nobel Prize in the world, they are 20% of Nobel Prize is won by Jewish people. You know, in USA, the Ivy League, Harvard, Stanford, Yale, all these top the college, 25% of that school students are Jewish people, Jewish students. And also, in USA, the rich men of the 40% of rich men are Jewish. Where they got this blessing, they have a same thing, follow the God. They try to live out what the Bible said. <clears throat> but one of the sad things, God choose them among so many people. That chosen, something like I choose the one manager to give the special the position among the so many people. And then the person is become, uh, I am promoted. I was chosen by the owner. And then I have uh, so many uh, right power to do it. But he is, instead of the doing the work, what owner, why appointing the person, he just uh, only enjoyed my position, my benefit, become arrogant. This is exactly what Israel people, God choose them. Why? He choose the sample among the every nation and then show how to bless them. And then all other nation is follow as the sample. But Jewish today, they just, uh, God choose us. So we have to keep separate life, not like the other people. They are isolated community. They just uh, using their blessing only for themselves. They should be the light to the world, but they are not. They say, oh, you are Allah, you are not chosen. We are only chosen. This kind of the arrogant one forget the mission of God. Today, all Christian, we are specially chosen by God among so many friends. We cannot be arrogant. We also have to carry out the mission why choose God choose me? Some special chosen is follow obligation. Do you recall your obligation? So the what we have to do. Number one, we have to teaching our children how to love God. That is the number one. Whether, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> whether you wake up, well, before you sleep, uh, you sleep, you go to talk to your children. Let them pray. Recognize God, the love God. The Shema. You know, the faith is come from listening, hearing, not just the living. <coughs> we have to remind our children, your faith comes from the hearing. O Israel, hear O Israel. So, uh, you know the God who creating the this world, and then He always, all, always, 
the supervising us, the managing us, watching us. So, what we have to do? Before we teaching our children, we have to show the sample. We have to look for the God, love God, leading the word of God, how to love. We have to show to our children. And then children, looks like they do not hear you, do not watch you. They, they see everything. You also, when you are children, you also same thing. So we should be model, sample, how to love God. And then we have to really do our children. So second one, we have to making, we have to educating our children to obey, obey the word of God. Obey word of God. The chapter 6, verse 6 and 7. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your heart. Impress them on your children. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. Every movement, we have to impress them. Impress them. We have to teach them continuously. That is impress them. Same thing. The children watching the parents. When you ask them to do, do something, you say, Oh, mom, you did not do it. Why you ask me to do it? And then what mostly moms say, just to do it. <laughs> Whether the children will follow you, they just pretend to follow, but not. So, you see, teaching, educating children is a very difficult. Because I, the parent, should be first the sample, good sample, good sample. So, the God is said, love God. And he always also asking us, love your neighbor, right? We see the one word from the Matthew chapter 22. Uh, I'd like to share you. Maps chapter 22, 36 to 40. This is a very short story. The, those, the policy, the scholar, teachers asking the Jesus, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, love Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second, like this, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and prophet hang on these two commandments. Love your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. That is the first and greatest commandment. And second is love your neighbor as yourself. These two commandments is taught above all, all kind of the commandment and prophets. And also we have a John, uh, first John chapter three. Uh, I like to share one more word. First 
John chapter 3, 16 to 18. Um, 16 to 18. This is the how we know what love is. This is the how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to have, we ought to lay down our life for our brothers. If anyone material possession and see his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with word or tongue, but with action and interest. Jesus died on the cross because of our sin, so we ought to die for our brother. So, anyone materially a lot of possession, something, still I have some. But when your uh, friend, brother in need, but if you don't feel any pity on him, how can love of God in them? Not love only tongues and words. It should be in action. I'm very happy to see nowadays many of our group people, you share the love to those brothers and sisters around you. Whatever you have, you just bring out, you really sharing that in spite of the fear of coronavirus. It was really touch. I really thanks God to making our people we really go that in action, love in action. I think your children will be blessed. Your children will see it. They will learn it. Even they do not speak out. They feel pride of the parents. My mom, my dad did this. What kind of thing you will inherit to your children? when you pass to the heaven. Money, house, is not. The life of parents will remain and teaching, educating the children, and they will follow it. If your life really follow the love of God, they will follow it. Nobody can take this one. Money, Bank, take it out. Economic down is gone. Many people is the really it's like crazy to eat. But eat tomorrow already hungry again. Some game, all this what kind of so many enjoyment you think is forever? No, it's just a moment. But word of God the love of God, love your neighbor, is will stay forever. So, today, <clears throat> I'll, the, the verse 3 is I read again. <clears throat> Shema, remember the Shema. Shema, Shema. Hear Israel, and they confess that God is one, only one God. Hear, O Israel, be careful to obey <clears throat> so that it may go well with you, that you may increase greatly in a land flowing with the milk and honey, just as the Lord. The Lord of your father promise you. O Israel, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, 
the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Shema. We cannot hold in the line, the world, and here and then. But as much as you carry the word of God, your cell phone, if you do not have the Bible free up, many Bible free apps, you can download to your cell phone and then you read it. There's many applications every morning, the new good word come automatically to your cell phone and you read it you can meditate it. Yesterday, when I prayed, I did not close, but somebody called, so my cell phone is stopped the broadcasting. So before somebody called today, I have to finish also. Can we pray together? Okay, let's close your eyes and feel the presence of God. Love your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. This is the greatest commandment. And then second is love your neighbor as yourself. These two great commandments is a hang on the, any other. Father God, thank you for your blessing. Thank you. You chose us among so many people. We become your child, your son and daughter. Let not just the boast, the special chosen. Let us remember the why God chose us and share your word to other people. Show our life to love our people. That's why through our action and word, the people really trust, become to believe that God is alive. Thank you using us to helping others and showing you in this world. As you say, you are light and salt. Let us live as light and salt in darkness in this corrupted world. You are only solution. Thanks God. Even though a lot of fear around the coronavirus, whole world, but you are only solution. Thank God. You make us close to you. You make us to keep you close. You make us the strong. You make our faith to increase. Thanks for your blessing. We pray all this in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. All God people said, Amen. Thank you, everyone. Anybody want to cut, come here, and then I cut your hair. You know, we have to know many things to do to make him happy and help other people. I did not know how to cut the hair, 
for the last uh, 15 years, I cut, I think I cut almost 10,000 people. <laughs> But I never get the money, it's the free service. God bless you, my friend.